Hey, what's happening, my friends? This is Carolina Millan. This is a new episode of Driving with Carolina. I'm right now in in uh, my parents' city. I'm on my way to my mother's house to pick up some stuff. Tomorrow, I am traveling to Las Vegas. It's going to be very, very exciting. I'm going there for the Affiliate Summit event, which is a three-day event. And I look forward to network with a lot of people. That, that's probably my 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 uh, main reason to attend is just to network with amazing marketers, have access to offers to promote and all that. Now in today's video, guys, um, I wanted to talk to you about lead magnets and how important it is that you look at your sales funnel. Okay, you look at your sales funnel and think about what kind of value you could offer in the shape of a lead magnet so that people look at your website, they visit your website, they read your content, they enjoy it and then they have no hesitation whatsoever to give you their name and email address to be on your on your email newsletter. Why? Because you're giving them such an irresistible lead magnet that they would be a fool not to give you their email. So some really good examples of lead magnets would be free reports, free ebooks, free video series, automated webinars. Those are some pretty good examples. Um, a free consultation with you. This one works really, really well. You get people to fill out a form and get a free 30 minute or 50 minute consultation with you or your team members if you have your own phone sales team. But if you don't, it could be just you and having people request to talk to you it is so so different than you calling leads you know it's not the same thing whenever somebody fills out a form on your website to talk to you it's because they they want to talk to you so you're in a much better position than if you just buy leads and you know lists of names and phone numbers and you go ahead and, and call them than if they actually requested to talk to you that's really powerful that's another good idea. Now, you got to think about something. Lead magnets are not something new and it's not something limited to internet marketing, to digital marketing. If you if you go to it is really old, an old concept, but if you go to a restaurant, okay? Um, even a place like Starbucks, sometimes you're walking by and they'll do a little sampling of their products. Especially for a new restaurant, that's something that is you know a must for them to do they want if you want people to have a taste of your product you gotta give it away for free but you only give so much to open their appetite you know and that that's the way it works with food sampling they're never gonna give you a full meal as a sample you know you don't give away the whole ice cream truck right um, they just give away a small portion just enough so that people have a taste and they can decide right there and then, hmm, I, do I want to go in there and have the full meal? Oh, hell yeah. Or, you know, it's not my thing. And it's the same thing with internet marketing. You know, you offer them a sample of a digital product. So you could, you could either create a lead magnet specifically for this purpose, or let's say you wrote a book, maybe you wrote a hundred page book and you don't really want to give it away for free. But what you could do, and this is something the big guys do, you can give away a chapter, you know, just chapter number one, you know, maybe five to ten pages. And you let people download that for free. And then inside that little ten page chapter, you offer people the opportunity to buy the full book. You know, enjoying this so far? Well, how about you read the full book? You know, here's the link. Now, if you write an ebook, oh, hang on, there are some bumps here. Oh, I hate those things, they're so annoying. Um, if you create an ebook specifically, um, again, specifically to offer as a lead magnet, what you need to do in this case, you need to find a way for them to not only download the ebook and walk away from your website with your free ebook. Inside that ebook, you need to include information, valuable information, and tie it to your product or service that you're selling. So let's say you're promoting affiliate marketing opportunities. You want to create an ebook that you know shows people the business that you're creating, that tells your story, story, 
positions you as an expert, okay? And at the same time, you want to include some affiliate links in there. Uh, if you're not doing that, I mean, you're just you're giving away free value, which is still really awesome that you do that, but you're missing out on the opportunity on, on, on getting a few sales. Now, this is, this is key because I see plenty of people who have an opt-in form on their website, but they're not really offering a lead magnet. You know, it's like, hey, want to sign up to our newsletter? Enter your name and email, and that's it. That, you know, that will get you opt-ins, but it is way more powerful when you're offering them a lead magnet. In my case, I have I have a new one that I that I'm working on. I'm, actually, it's done. I just need to set it up and put it put it on my website. But in my case, I have a video series, seven day video series, um, and the entire video series is just free value that I'm giving. I'm teaching them something. But at the end of the video series, I invite people to fill out a form to work with me. So what I'm doing with that series is teaching people about social media, about marketing online. And if they like what I say, that warms them up. And then at the end, it will be a no-brainer to fill out the form and, and work with me. I'm also working on an ebook right now, doing exactly what I just said. Tell your story, show them your results, present a business model like a high ticket program or a core, a core product that you want to offer and put some affiliate links of other tools that will be complementary. Okay, not just put random affiliate links. Okay, make it valuable and do it in a way that it makes sense for your prospect to acquire all the tools and the business, the primary business or core product that you're offering. Okay. Um, so if you do have a website, you do have an opt-in form, just remember this, give people something valuable, allow them to sample your product or service, and you're going to get a lot more leads. And you can have an amazing core product, you can have amazing upsells, great videos, etc. But if people are not opting into your list, how, how are they going to learn about it? You know, How are they ever going to know that your product is so amazing? They just won't. You know, they just won't know it uh, if they're not opting in. How do you get them to opt in? Give them something for free. Give them a lead magnet. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for uh, watching this episode of Driving with Carolina. Um, I'll be shooting more videos, hopefully, when I come back from my trip. I'll see you real soon. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, you'll find a. a you'll find a button to do that below this video like this video as well if you thought it was valuable and if you have created your lead magnets please do let me know i'll be happy to check them out if you want to work with me you will also find links in the description of this video to to apply and work with me directly this is carolina millan and i'll see you in the next video bye bye